What's up, guys, and welcome back to EBFG TV. Colton and Brian here for a very special MLS Cup Final edition of our match preview. We are joined by the boys from Sonar Feed. It's, it's very exciting. We're in the MLS Cup Final. Brian, does it feel real yet? It still doesn't feel real. We're leaving in like four days, and uh, it, it still hasn't fully sunk in yet that we've actually made it. Uh, this season's just been bizarre, start to finish. Um, I'm not complaining, though. I mean, this is what we've wanted for eight years now? Something like that. Seven, eight years? Yeah. Eight, yeah. Um, it is. But no, I mean, it's it's just incredible. I mean, it's going to be cold, we're going to be dying, but we're going to be screaming, singing, jumping, bouncing. <laughs> I don't know what they're laughing at, but... Uh. <laughs> crowd. We have some crowd interaction going on. It's going, it's going very well. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm unbelievably hyped for it. It's going to be un unbelievable. It isn't... That was the most calm unbelievably hype anyone has ever said. <laughs> I'm so unbelievably hype right now. It's unbelievable. But is it going to be cold enough to wear sandals and socks or, or socks not? And sandals. Look, I'm afraid if you don't if you don't know Aaron, he he likes to wear socks and sandals and it's one of my favorite things about him. I'm afraid if you don't wear socks and sandals, we might not win. So, are you going to wear socks and sandals on Saturday? Yes. Have you worn socks and sandals for every away match that you've ever been to? Probably most of them, most of them. Okay, so not not, so not so every no. one of them. So no, not, because not some of them were them. like in Dallas. I mean, the so in Dallas in like July. Yeah. No socks. No, no socks. socks. No socks. But you still wear sandals. But, but yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So we're gonna yeah. have one yeah. of the. Yeah. So I'm gonna wear like 18 pairs of socks and like three or four heat pads and you know or heat with those little. Uh, You're serious. Oh, I'm dead serious. Oh my yeah. god. And I have wool He's socks. Serious. No, I'm dead serious. I'm wearing socks. It's gonna be it's gonna be very cold in Toronto if you didn't know. Um, how do you think the match is gonna play out? First, I'm gonna start with you, Hugo. How do you think the match is gonna play out? I um, mean, I think well, I, I think it's gonna be a little slow because it's so cold, and then everything you know with with the weather first. I think it's gonna be a little bit rough. Everybody's gonna be you know it's like a boxing match of two heavyweights trying to eye each other first couple of rounds. So it's gonna start out a little bit slow, but once everybody gets going after maybe the 15th minute or so, I think you're gonna see a lot of just. What's our beers? Yeah, exactly. Just a lot of more attacking, a lot more physicality, but also runs and runs. So I'm excited for it, man. I, like he said, I can't, I still don't – like I started earlier today saying, is this real life? Yeah. We're in the MLS Cup. We're going to be in another country supporting our boys, doing what we do. Is this real life? It is, man. But like you, I'm like, I still don't – let's go. <laughs> so we've gone Mexico, U.S., now we're ending in Canada. So three countries, two coaches. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, let's not get started on whatever that could be. Um, <laughs> pretty decent number ten. He's okay. Oh He's okay. Our our, our little Nicolas Ladero. So there's a very good uh, match preview with with um, Matt Pence on Sonar Feed tonight's episode. So go and watch that as well. But Aaron, I'm still going to ask you, what do you think the match is going to be like on Saturday? So it's going to be interesting because Matt, Matt talked about tonight. We had Dave on as well from Sunder Heart. We had all of us talking tonight. And it, it's going to be one of those matches. I still believe that we're going to play, for lack of a better term, Schmetzer ball, where it's going to be our match. We're going to play the match that we play, and we're going to re react to what they play, of course. But I think we're going to have – a vi we're going to dictate it. We're going to dictate the way this match plays. We're going to be strong. We're going to play – uh, we're going to play the Sounders as the Sounders. We're going to end up winning the match, which you, I know you're not getting there yet, but I'm ruining that anyways because that's my MO. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Socks and sandals, and I spoil everything. But, you know, but I do believe that we're going to come out hard. I think we're going to come out. We're going to try and establish the, the ground game, and, and then we're going to uh, dominate that, assuming Ozzy is healthy and plays Ozzy's ball that he's played in 2016. Kayla. We got a drink delivery in the middle of the episode. That's great. Always great. You, now I'm going to go to Tom. Tom, you started off this year in Mexico City watching the Sounders play at the Azteca against Club America. Did you ever think that the season would end in bitterly cold temperatures in Toronto? No. <laughs> Perfect answer. I, I did think that they would have a great season. I did not think we would end up in Toronto. Uh, I think... On one hand, I was confident enough that you would think they'd be playing at home or somewhere else. Uh, didn't necessarily peg Toronto, you know, to be the finish for the season. Uh, but 
I think we all went in to, especially that game, after having, you know, seen the club a little bit earlier, uh, feeling pretty good about the season. And I don't think anyone, it's so cliche to even say it, I don't think anyone would have ever forecast, hell, half of what happened this season, let alone all the things that happened this season, from the coaching changes to the player changes to anything else that's really gone on. You know, the ups and downs, a lot of downs. Um, I don't think anyone would have ever <laughs> would have ever expected us. We have audience interaction right now. Um, us to end up here, yeah. you know. Well, um, for for part of the season in July, it looked like we would end the season in Seattle, sitting at home watching the MLS right. Cup final. Right. The fact that we're even here, it no, still it still blows my mind. Like yeah. I still can't believe it. I really, um, in Colorado, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if we win because I, I I don't know. Didn't it's plan. I, d I didn't plan on that in July, sitting in 90-degree heat in Kansas City, literally soaking wet from sweat. I didn't think we'd finish the season in Toronto, where it's going to be like 25 degrees. So you were closer to that ball than Tyrone Mears. Is what you're saying. Probably. <laughs> look, oh look. Oh, my God. Woo! Oh, my God. I love Tyrone Mears. But I do, too, yeah. But uh, that game was not his best game. <laughs> but, okay, but can we talk for a minute about that, though? That's why... But that's and why you, Brian is the coach that we want. Mm -hmm. That's why Brian's our steward, because we all talked about Mears. And we on Sonar Feed, oh, for sure. nonstop. Especially me. He was off the team. Yeah, he was, he was gone. Yeah. And I, I may or may not have called Brian out and said, what the f – can I swear here or no? F word. <laughs> what the F word was he thinking? Still Brian it. saw yeah. it. Brian – got him back on the team and br that's what yeah. i think schmetzer Fine. has made it amazing uh, difference on the team is that that the buy-in totally. changed everything because that he was gone mirrors checked out oh, in that yeah. game and this is my opinion since jones. that point have completely and turned it around announced. like jones fan i mean amazing yeah. since then yeah. almost game game over game over yeah. game and mirrors has been super solid like mirrors yeah. is has been what you expected him to be he was when like he that, showed up ha, uh, exactly. game one on yeah. Sounders exactly. last year. Yes. You know, that's what he's turned out to be yep. at the end here. Like, yep. he's up forward when he needs to be. Uh, so it's it's just you would never have expected any of these things to really, really happen and, like, happen in the right order. It's it's all kind of clicking at the right time, which is which is what what's so much fun to watch about this team is that there's not a ton of like really weak links in this playoff run. I mean, the defense has been amazing. Um, the midfield's great. The attack is great. Everything has been going great. Everything's clicking at just the right time that we've needed it. And and Brian Schmetzer put an energy into this team they didn't have in June and July. It's it's been fantastic. So now I'm gonna go to Mark. Uh oh, <laughs> Mark. <There you> go. <laughs> Yeah, you can turn a little bit. Stare at the fire. There you go. Advertise the Berliner. We're live from the Berliner in Renton, by the way. As Sonar Feed usually is, Monday nights at 7.30. 7.30, is that right? There you go. Vlog. Mark, everything has been... What? Oh, it's insane. Oh. Am I good? Okay. Mark, everything has been clicking so well for the Sounders the last two months of the playoffs because it's taken forever, right? Um, do, you, do you think they'll get it done on Saturday in Toronto? Absolutely. I think... Uh, I think we're going to show up and you're going to see a level of intensity that we have come to expect under Schmetzer. And I think hopefully not have the, the fall off of, oh, yeah, we're playing today, like we saw a couple times. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't call for this. Just, just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> Pretend it's not, just like he's not even there. Like he's not even there. It, it's kind of, we've gone into big games over the years, eight years now, we've gone into big games, and we've had this, should we play this way, should we play that way, kind of an identity. The team, when you look at Nico, when you look at Roman, you look at Brian, you look at the entire team, there's a different identity of this team, and they're playing to that identity. Since Kansas City in July, and then they followed it up in October in the first playoff game, there's been a different identity to this team, and that's what they're playing, and that's how it's going to be. That's how we're going to be successful to, uh, on Saturday, is that we're playing as the Sounders identity that they've created, and that's that's I think what you're trying to say. And I have a guarantee. Uh oh. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh, no. Wait, is Renton ahead of the curve? It is. It is. Shalry Joseph will not be starting it forward. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was close. I was afraid we were going to get into, like, Mark Messier. Uh, who's the other one? Broadway Joe. You know. I was afraid we were going to that territory. Ball and we're going to score. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt Hasselbeck. <laughs> I, I am 50-50 on whether I'm going to wear the American flag Speedo, though. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Do you have your tearaway? Yeah. Ski pants? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, wow. Folks, if you're in the OA section on Saturday, it could get interesting. <laughs> There's a guarantee. We're not going to get thrown out for anything else. It's going to be <laughs> Sounders win. Mark has breakaway pants on. <laughs> <laughs> and an American flag <laughs> thong. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 p.m. news. A man has been kicked out of Canada for tearing his pants off at the MLS Cup final. Those are the headlines. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so I have, a, I have a question for the group. Or wait, do you have something to say? I was going to steal it from you real quick. Yeah, Go ahead. Um, so we got your, I'm assuming most of the people watching this probably watched you guys already. They got your, your kind of well thought out match predictions. What we want, since we always do match predictions before, I'm going to get, you know, you go to sleep the night before the final, you dream of the final. What is your, what is your dream scenario, essentially, your dream scoreline? I'll, I'll go ahead and start with you, actually. Well, I've, I've, I've been watching um, a lot of Sounders highlights from, like, every season since 2009 on YouTube the last few weeks. Um, I, I think if I, if, if, if I vision the game, if I dream of the game, I think we score a free kick goal. I don't know who scores it. We score a free kick goal and, yeah, possibly. Stefan Fry, maybe. Who knows? A goal kick goal. Hey, that'd be interesting. The wind off the lake blows it in, you know? Something like that. There's lakes in Toronto. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not really a geography guy. And, and two, the other thing is, is I have this weird vision that Stefan Fry is going to save a penalty in the game. I'm not saying in a PK shootout. I'm saying in the game. So that is my, like, dream scenario. And obviously that we win the MLS Cup. Is this a prediction or a dream scenario? Yeah, well, a little I mean, a dream scenario, it's like 8-0, well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to stress. Um, Thank you for not going yeah. 7-0. Yeah. 8-0, yeah. 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 six goals from Stefan Fry, <laughs> the other two from Jordan Morris. Right. That's like the dream. Okay. That's right. the dream. Right. But no, realistic dream scenario, I, I honestly think 2-0. Okay. A lot like that Supporters' Shield winning game in 2014. Oh, I'm good with that. Um, yeah. That's... That, is, is kind of how I also see the game in my, like, thought-out brain um, going, yeah, there. All right. I was going to say 3-0. Um, I didn't have quite specific, as specific predictions as a free kick goal and a penalty save. Hopefully no penalties. Uh, I don't think my heart can take that. Um, I don't even think I could take extra time. But um, I'm going I'm to say 3-0. That's kind of my – I just have this, this feeling about 3-0 Sounders. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then let's pick it Hugo? Up. Uh, you know, I, I have a 3-1 vision, dream. I want it to be over early just because I don't want to have to have any heartache. Yeah. So I just want three goals in the first half, and they get a, somehow just a goal in the second. And that's what my dream would be and how I would want it to go down. I know that's not how it's going to go down, mm -hmm. but I hope so. So I said tonight it's either going to be 1-0 or 2-0. Um, and I'm torn between Nico, because uh, uh, Nico has been that guy the whole, the whole time. Um, Jordan, obviously getting his playoff goal here for the finals. Um, and, of course, if I had my dream, Zach Scott scoring on, the, yes. on his way out, yes. that header on the way out, I mean, that would be my, like, dream. Wow. But but the reality the reality is going to be the reality is going to be a um, you know Nico a Jordan uh, Valdez would be great too so I, but I I really do believe it's going to be a one nil two nil uh, to us to the good side as I'd like to say I think Stefan's going to have one of those games where it's it's personal not a revenge match but I think it's a he's going to play a different yeah he's going to play at a different level so that that's mine this is like a melatonin dream. Or, like, just a regular <laughs> dream. Because if it's a melatonin dream, the Montreal field crew accidentally makes the entire Toronto half the box. <laughs> and Sounders win, I don't know, what, 7 nothing on penalties? 
Uh, no, but seriously, like dream matchup, I think is like shut out for Stefan Fry. Yeah. I don't care what the score is. Yeah. I, I just think you want like player stories, like you want Fry yeah. or like Scott well, or Herc, even somebody Herc, like Herc, 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 Herc Valdez. Yeah. But I think that's the challenge. It's not like you have just Zach Scott retiring. Like yeah. you've, uh, we talked a little about it a little bit on Sonar Feed tonight. Like Torres wants a goal. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Dude's in the box on non-penalties yeah. lately. There are free kicks all over the place. He's out there. Like, somebody just stepping up and doing something crazy. Like, this feels like a player kind of moment. You know, you're really going to have somebody step up. Can I say one more thing on my dream segment? No. If, Brian, if you want to do something good, you can start Roman Torres as forward, and I'd be okay with that. Wow! <laughs> Wow! Mark, Mark is Mark is done. Wow! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's, that's my dream. Mark's dream. like, if this was a dream for me, there would be Bud Budweiser Apple beer everywhere <laughs> for all the Apple <laughs> Cups <laughs> that <laughs> Wazoo is right. not winning. Yeah. Um, I've got two scenarios also. Uh, a 2-0, which would be uh, J-Mo goal, and then just to seal the deal, Valdez. Uh, and then the other one is 3-0, and it's, it's J-Mo, Valdez again, and then Herc just thundering it home just to say, up years, Toronto. Oh, my God. I'd lose my... That's it. <laughs> Much like the, uh, it was the 2010 Cup final that was in Toronto that was won by an own goal, correct? Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, Colorado and Dallas was won oh, by an yeah, own goal. Yeah. So. Time Colorado won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Canada, which is really weird, right? Now, here we are again, back in Canada. So to see the Sonar, Ford, Sonar Feed Boys predictions, go watch Sonar Feed. That's a plug. We had Josh Mayers, who was great. <laughs> they had Matt Pence. But me and Brian are going to do our predictions on this channel. Brian, it's the MLS Cup Final. It's the biggest prediction we've done all year, possibly the biggest we'll ever do on this channel. Ever. MLS what do you think? Year. What do you Yeah, till next year. Till the CCL final. Wink. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so Brian, what's the score going to be on Saturday? I really want to say 2-1, but that's so boring. Um, I'm still going to go 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. I like it. Look, I'm fine if 2-1's boring if it's like 2-0 until I'm the 85th go the minute. That's three one. Reason. There you go. Three one. I'm gonna go two nil. As much as I said, I, I I almost think it's gonna be a lot like that Shield game where it's very tight um, yeah. because both teams are very good. These are two very good teams that made it to the MLS Cup final. Um, so I'm gonna go with two nil. Um, it'd be great if Valdez scored. Um, I think that really come full circle almost for him. That first redemption goal against Kansas City to score in a final I think would be huge for him. It'd be huge for us. But I will say if Roman Torres scores or Zach Scott scores. Might try to find a way onto the pitch. Blocko <laughs> subs on and scores his first yeah. goal since coming back. We, we started the season in the uh, <laughs> Mexican police paddy wagon. Yeah. We yeah. could end the season in one in Canada. Okay Who scored? Valdez scored against Club America, right? Victory, right? Valdez scored the goal we scored at the Azteca. Is that right? I don't know. Is that right? I, I'm just saying, guaranteed. <laughs> These two are going to end up in Canadian prison. I don't know if it's a guarantee, but... <laughs> Beth, I hope you have bail money. <laughs> well, guys, that's all we have it. Thank you so much for watching EBFG TV. Thanks to the Sonar Feed Boys Thank you. Thank you. again for having us. Or are we have, Who had who? That's the real question. Uh, phrasing? <laughs> Something like that. Mutually beneficial. Mutually beneficial. It's been a pleasure. Like, comment, subscribe as always. <laughs> That's actually really good, though, and funny. It saves it before. Yeah, it should, yeah. Renton is ahead of the curve. So the end of this is just going to be audio, and it's going to be thanks for watching EBFG TV. We'll see you hopefully after the Sounders win the MLS Cup on Saturday. Stay tuned for the vlog. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Let's go.